Hey, how we grow? You watching this video? You're trying to learn how to use the CloudLine controller compatible with the T3, T4, T6, T8, S2, S4. All right. If you like me, you don't like reading instructions. It's confusing. But I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. Make it real simple, easy as possible. So let's get it started. Let's start off with the controller itself. Right here, this plugs into the probe. Probe goes in your tent. You want the probe to be around your plants. Don't put it near the light because it's going to get too hot and it's going to throw all your readings off. This cord right here goes to your outlet. Then you got the display right here. Modes are on the left, temperature in the middle, humidity of the probe, top right, the actual fan speed, and then the settings, which is different depending on the modes. And you have these buttons over here. This bottom left lets you switch modes. Up and down lets you change the settings on whatever mode you're on. This button turns the display off, on, and while you're on any mode, you can hold it down to do the kitty lock. Three seconds. Now nothing changes until you hold the kitty lock button for three seconds again unlocks it all right so right now we're on the on mode and on the on mode you can set your fan speed from a level of one to ten now one is the slowest ten is the fastest and you see the current fan speed is matching the set fan speed on this mode so this mode no matter what the fan will always be on on whatever level you set it to but the most important thing about this mode is whatever fan speed you set on this mode is going to be the fan speed on the other modes. And we're going to move on to the off. Now this is when the fan turns off, but when you're on this setting, you can do a couple of things with the display. You could change it to Celsius, hold down the down button for three seconds. Okay, change it to Fahrenheit, hold the up for three seconds. If you want to change the intensity of the light, just tap, 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 tap. Same with the up, tap, tap, tap. Leaf button does the same thing on every other mode. Display on, off. Okay, next mode, timer mode. This will go to whatever the fan speed you set on the on setting, which I think it was five, right? It's gonna go on five for that amount of time. It's in 10 minute intervals that you could set it and it goes up to nine hours. I mean, I don't really use this ever. So this is kind of a useless mode. Next is the auto mode. Now this is the brains. This is what I use all the time. Make it simple for you. You set the high temperature at 82 degrees. And what that does is when your probe reading goes to 82 or above, it's gonna turn your fan to that on fan speed that you set before, which was five. All right, just keep it at 82. That's the best temperature in my opinion low temperature this is useless i honestly cannot think of a hypothetical situation where this would be useful so just turn it off by default it'll probably be on like 65 or something to turn it off press the up and down button for three seconds and that's going to shut it off next mode high humidity if you take a look at my ultimate chart, it'll show exactly what humidity levels are the best at different stages of the plant's life. So I have adult plants, which is why I set it at 55, but younger plants will need higher humidity. So just take a look at that chart and match the figures, All right? Low humidity, similar reason to the low temperature 
can't hypothetically think of something. The problem with this is that it will override the high temperature settings and force the fan on, which I don't like, which is why I shut it off. Again, hold down these two buttons, three seconds, shut it off. Right, so right now on any of these four, you'll be on auto mode, so it's gonna trigger based on whatever you set those limits on. So once you switch out of this mode, none of these settings make any difference. So make sure you're on any of these four. Next mode, alarm settings. This is just setting limits to make this speed. All right, so once it hits a 111, it's gonna alarm. Once it goes 40 or lower, alarm. I've never gotten an alarm trigger, so honestly, I don't even know what it sounds like. All of these alarms will trigger when you're on the on or auto mode. So just make sure once you set these settings, you move to one of those modes. Going back to the on mode again, this mode overrides all of the limits set in auto. So your fan will always be on on the fan speed you set. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to the auto mode because that's the mode that I use and you're good. So AC Infinity has an updated controller 69, which is app enabled and uses Bluetooth. For a video on how to program that, click the link. If you have any questions, check out our Discord. We're active over there. And for more tips, reviews, and tutorials, check out howweedgrow.com.